Members of Congress have heard from constituents during the August recess. When Congress reconvenes, critical issues will face them, including the budget, sequestration, and the conflict in Syria. I spoke with Oklahoma 1st District Congressman Jim Bridenstine about the heavy lifting that lies ahead. Congressman Bridenstine, what do you see as the most pressing issue facing Congress when it reconvenes? Well, there's no doubt um, that uh, we, we have a continuing resolution in front of us that's going to be weighing on the minds of a lot of representatives. Certainly, uh, we've got a debt ceiling increase that, um, that is going to be coming up towards the end of the year. But right now, I think the, the big question is uh, the continuing resolution, funding the government, um, and, and what are, the, are going to be the requirements to get uh, members of Congress to support the continuing resolution? Do you think the Affordable Care Act should be defunded? Well, I, I wouldn't say that the Affordable Care Act should be defunded because I don't think anybody in, in Congress is talking specifically about that. What we should do is we should fund the government, just not the Affordable Care Act. <laughs> And I think, you know, you hear a lot of people saying, you know, certain Republicans want to shut down the government. Um, and, and that's not where I am. That's not where most of the Republicans I know are. We want to fund the whole government, just not the Affordable Care Act. So however you frame that, um, uh, certainly I think that's important. But uh, I think we should fund the government, just not the Affordable Care Act. When Congress gets back together, you will have just nine days to work out a budget deal. Do you think it will come together? You know, that's a great question, and the answer to that is um, I have great confidence that we will be able to get a, a continuing resolution done, um, but certainly i got to tell you, I'm going I'm to adhere to my principles, and, and I don't want to see the Affordable Care Act funded in this continuing resolution. You have been listening to constituents. What are your top takeaways from your meetings that you've been holding with constituents in August? I think right now the economy and jobs are on, on, on everybody's minds, and to the extent that, uh, that that is, people understand that the Affordable Care Act is weighing down the economy. I talk to businesses regularly, and since I've been home, I've talked to a number of them who have more than 50 employees, maybe they have 57, for example, one business. They're trying to figure out how to get down to 49 employees. Uh, there are other businesses that are, that are taking their employees and they're reducing them down to, to, to 29 hours. So the economy is struggling. Uh, everybody knows that. The president is saying that, you know, and he bragged in the month of June that they created 195,000 new jobs. The reality is that, that we lost 200,000 full-time jobs and we picked up over 300,000 part-time jobs. Uh, that is not economic progress. As a former fighter pilot, what do you see as the U.S. role in Syria? Well, this is a, this is a big question. Um, on, on one hand, you've got the Assad regime, which is backed by Vladimir Putin in Russia when it comes to weapons, surface-to-air missiles, tanks, airplanes. Uh, also on the side of the Assad regime, you've got backing by the mullahs in Iran, um, and you've got Hezbollah. So there is no doubt that the Assad regime is problematic. They are not friends of the United States, and certainly they would like the United States to be embarrassed in any way they can, they can embarrass us. That's a problem. But you've got to consider who's on the other side of the Assad. Who are the rebels? That's the, the major question here. And as far as I can tell, and as far as anybody can tell me, the rebels are, are Al-Qaeda. The rebels are the Muslim Brotherhood. Again, these are not friends of the United States either. So again, we have to define what is the national security interest of the United States. And right now, on either side of this, um, I'm not seeing a national security interest for our country specifically. Now, if the president makes his case, um, I'd love to know what that is. Uh, but right now, I'm not there to, to say that it's okay for the president to start uh, engaging in a civil war in Syria. U.S. Representative Jim Bridenstine, thank you for your time. Thank you. If you would like to watch our entire interview with Oklahoma 1st District U.S. Representative Jim Bridenstine, visit our website at oeta.tv.